welcome to My Counselor Online. Today I'm joined by one of our counselors. This is Emily Hurst, and we're just going to talk through her story, how she got to where she is today, and how she can serve you. So Emily, I want to start by asking, what is your story as a counselor? Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> I feel like that's a big, big question. Um, my story as a counselor, you know, I just grew up in a culture where mental health wasn't super talked about. I was a missionary kid. Um, and at that time that I was overseas, it just wasn't really something that I even knew was an issue that we struggled with or couldn't really even identify my own struggles with mental health. And I didn't let much less know that there were like services available to us. And so I just remember, you know, being younger and kind of struggling with some things and kind of eventually getting to this place of asking God, like, God, why is there no one to help? Like, what is this that I'm struggling with? Um, why is there no one to like sit with me and talk with me about this? And him and I just kind of getting into this conversation of like, well, why can't that be you? Um, and that kind of conversation with God just led me down this path of discovering psychology and subsequently counseling. And so when I came back to the US, I majored in psychology um, and then pursued my master's degree with just a heart and a passion for connecting with people who feel like they don't have anyone else. Um, and people who just feel alone and kind of lost and wondering like, why do I feel this way and what is going on? Um, and then also just a passion for missions, but not just missionaries, just like anyone in that phase of life. And so that's how I kind of just ended up in the counseling realm. It was just kind of the exploration of my own struggles with mental health and then just recognizing the stigma and wanting to like kind of be a part of the change in that, both in the mission world and just the life in general and in the church. Yeah, no, I love that. And I love that you bring your own story into your practice and into what you do. Um, I think that's beautiful. So how long did you live overseas? Was it your whole childhood? And then you moved back um, when you started college? Yeah, I was born and raised overseas. So I came back when I was 19 for college. Yeah. Wow. So that gives you just special expertise into that kind of life um, for missionary kids, military kids, mm -hmm. you know, just families who are living overseas and those third culture kids. So that is so awesome that you have that expertise. So how did you get connected with my counselor online? Yeah, so I lived in Springfield. That's where I, you know, did my undergrad and subsequently my master's degree. Um, and my friend actually worked at my counselor online while she was doing her master's degree. Um, and they just worked so well with her schedule. And so when I was going through my program and I needed a job that was just going to be willing to work with me and my crazy class schedule and crazy internship schedule, she put in a good word for me. And so I ended up actually working for MCO in a support staff position for like a year and a half. And then once I kind of got my feet as a counselor, I now making the transition over to a clinician. And so just through that time, I got to see the heart of MCO and the passion that they have for integrating, you know, Christ into our sessions and integrating faith. And I just love that. And I loved that I could work with anyone regardless of where they were located from like my own home or my office in Colorado. I can meet with someone across the world. And I just loved that that was something that they were passionate about doing was bringing services to people who might not normally have them. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we're so glad that you're a part of our family here at MCO. So um, next question would just be, you know, for the people watching, what clients are you typically working with, kind of connecting with, you know, where do you kind of specialize when it comes to counseling? Yeah, great question. Um, so I talked about it a little bit already, but obviously I have such a heart for missionary kids, missionary families, third culture kids, military kids, just people who kind of go through like huge life transitions on a regular basis. Um, I have a real heart for them, but that's not only who I want to work with. I love working with young adults. Um, just kind of that transitional stage of life can be so challenging. Um, and so partnering with people, walking with them through that. Um, anxiety and depression, trauma, those are things that I have experience working with and that I love walking through with people. It's such a, a difficult thing to walk through, but such a a rewarding experience to get to do that with a person. So those are kind of the areas that I, I gravitate towards that I'm experienced in. Um, but honestly, like I just love meeting with anyone, um, couples, individuals, single people, premarital people, really anything in between is just something I'm passionate about. 
Yeah. Yeah. I love your heart for counseling and just the variety of things that you specialize in and um, love to do. So the last thing I would love for you to do is just, could you speak directly to the people watching your, you know, potential people that you may be working with? Um, what can they expect when they sit down for a session with you? Yeah. I think when a person sits down with me above all else, I want them to feel safe. Yeah. Um, I want them to know that I am honoring and I take it as such like a privilege to be able to sit with them. And I want them to know that, you know, in that space, um, I want to honor what they're feeling, what their experience has been, what their journey has been. And together we will just work through it. Um, there'll be tough sessions and there'll be funny sessions. And I just want them to know that I will be there with them every step of the way. Um, whether they're, you know, an individual or a couple, I want each person to know that they're heard and their valued and their perspective and their story is one that I cherish. Um, and so I guess that's just what I want all my clients to know is that I don't care where you're at in life. I just consider it a privilege to be there with you.